Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I organize my kitchen drawers. This will be a series on my channel so you can expect kitchen organization, hacks, and declutter videos in the coming weeks. Hope you guys will like today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and consider subscribing before you go. Um, so first, I bought these waterproof drawer liners so it'll be easier to wipe, wipe off stains and dirt. It will also help prevent moisture from seeping into the wood to avoid termite infestation and rotting. Simply measure your kitchen drawer, mark the drawer liner with a knife, and cut according to size. Second step in organizing your kitchen drawers is to declutter. Let go of items that you haven't used in months or years. It's better to donate, sell, or simply discard these items rather than to let it sit on your drawer and rust away. Be mindful of the things that you keep. Um, make sure that you truly need the things that are in your kitchen. Third, invest on stackable items. I like baking, so I got these um, stackable mixing bowls from IKEA. It's functional and needs minimal space when storing. You may also stack items that are used for the same tasks, like for baking. I put my measuring cups and silicone brush inside a mixing bowl for quicker access. Fourth, instead of placing your glassware on top of each other, it is best to nest them together like this way. So you'll save more space for other kitchen items and it's easier to do an inventory of your items when you do it this way. Fifth, I got some clear drawer organizer for my utensils and other kitchen paraphernalia. It is best to measure your items prior to getting these so it will fit in your drawers properly. These um, drawer organizers will help you manage your kitchenware better. You'll easily spot mismatched utensils and you'll also notice those three can openers that you forgot you bought years ago. Sixth, it is a good practice to flip the lid when storing pots and pans like these so you can avoid bumping it with other items inside the drawer. Another pro of this is that you can put another item on top like say chopping boards or trays.
Lastly, for knives, it's usually placed on a knife block. However, I decided to get knives with knife guards like these so I can put them safely in a drawer instead of the counter. I didn't find it necessary to buy a container for these since I can just place them on the drawer liner itself. And so, those are the things I do and use to manage and organize my kitchen drawers. I hope this video will help you manage yours and inspire you guys to declutter and curate your kitchen. If you want more organizational videos like this, please comment down below. Again, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you go. Thanks for watching!